What is going on YouTube? It's me, Andrew here. Welcome to this video. Well, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Tor Browser. Not Tor Browser, but like the Tor uh, Portal on your iPhone and iOS devices. This will work for any device on iOS 8.1.2 or 8.1.3 Beta 1 and 2. That is jailbroken and below. So yeah, if you have any pretty much version of iOS right now, as, as of the moment, it's not jailbreakable. So you can't have like iOS 8.2 or 8.1.3. So you have to have iOS 8.1.2 or below or 8.1.3 beta 1s and 2. Okay, so um, you want to go on your iPhone, right? And uh, you're going to need to have certain things. So uh, right now, let's check my version of iOS that I'm on. I, I disabled auto update. So I am on 8.1.2, like I said. And we're going to get out of there. And pretty much, uh, let's check to see if I'm not bullshitting to you guys that I actually have Tor. You guys can see it says, congratulations, you have Tor. But you're, I'm going to go ahead and check it again. Are you using Tor? Go ahead and hit that. And we should wait for it. Congratulations, this browser is configured to use Tor. And tells you a random IP address. How did I do this? This took me a night with just coffee. And uh, with a lot of coffee. And pretty much just... Searching the internet everywhere, back and front, and pretty much using my own resources because I'm I've used iPhones before, right? So I know tricks and tips and pretty much links and all that stuff. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to figure out how to use Tor on your iPhone and search dot onion links. Uh, like another one would to prove that it is working, and I can actually go on a dot onion site. I'm gonna go on a C site called um deep web ministries the christian site i'm not a christian i just to forum forum uh deep web ministries i'm gonna go ahead and search that and it's safe so google will give me a results for it shine the light in the gospel so you guys can tell it's loading it's kind of slow if you're on a data network since it does reduce your data network it does reroute your connection so it's kind of slow. So you guys can tell that I am on this onion site, Deep Web Ministries. It says, let us know. We can pray for you. So yeah, I'm not bullshitting you guys. It actually works. So um, it works on Safari, Chrome, any web browser that you use. As long as you set up it, you set it up right, you should be fine. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to um, Cydia. Let me go ahead and unlock it. And we're going to need to install a few things. Okay? We're going to need to have these sources uh, hack your iPhone and then Hunter Beckham just pause the screen right now and pretty much add these sources hack your repo the hack iPhone.com dot org and Hunter Beckham dot my repo space dot com pretty much okay so you want to go to I'm gonna go to install but you want to go to settings and then search up these um these these uh these um uh, these plugins and Per applications, then I search up Shadow Socks and Shadow Socks per app plugin, iFile, and uh, what else? What else? And Tor. I made this video, this another, this is the second take of me making this video because I forgot the Tor part, which is very important. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna download Winterboard and the theme because the reason why I want to download Winterboard, it might seem like out of places because I have no idea of any other way to respring your, um, your phone. Since SBS settings is gone, it's SB settings is pretty much gone, and um, yeah, so you need Winterboard to respring your phone, and yeah, so you have all these installed Winterboard, a theme, Tor, um, Shadow Socks per app plugin, Shadow Socks, and iFile, and that is pretty much all that you need. Let me check to see if I'm missing anything. Nope, that's it. So once you have all those installed, you want to get out of there, and you want to go to your settings. You have to respring your phone because these settings might not show up. So you want to go to uh, Winterboard. What's Winterboard? Winterboard. Um, go to select theme, select the theme, uncheck it, go back, and then click respring. I'm gonna cancel that. Once you have it respringed, uh, you should go to settings, and you should be able to see. Under your Cydia apps section, under your Cydia apps section, you can see uh, you have two new things. You have uh, Shadow Socks and Tor Settings. 
Now this is the master setting to enable and disable Tor. Uh, right now I'm gonna leave it disabled, but I have it enabled, so I'm gonna disable it. And then you also want to go to uh, Shadow Socks and disable per app plugin and disable SPDY. We're not gonna use that uh, right now, but you can use it after we've set it up and you've confirmed that um, Shadow Socks is working. Okay, so you wanna skip enable proxy settings and don't touch anything there. Click Pack File Manager and go back. And then let's go to the Shadow Socks app. When you have it on, you can see that it has a little badge in red that says on. Click on Shadow um, and then you wanna create a new, a new profile, name it Tor. And then click Enable Proxy. Don't mess with the server information settings. Um, you want to go to um, Auto Proxy, tap that, and then uh, you want to go to Pack File, right? Now this is important because this proxy .pack file it contains the script that is needed to reroute your um, your your um, you just really need to connect you to the Onion router, pretty much. So, you guys can tell that I placed mine in VAR mobile downloads proxy pack. This is how, um, this is why an uh, iFile comes in handy. You want to download iFile from the Hack Your iPhone repo, not the, um, not, not the Big Boss repo. This is the Big Boss people you have to pay for. So, you want to go to the root and then go to etc. Go to Tor, and then copy this pack file. Pretty much, if you don't want to use it, you want to go to Edit, uh, select it, click on this little clipboard, click Copy, and then go back all the way to Root. Go to User, and then go to Downloads, and then paste it in here. Again, uh, click Edit, tap this little clipboard, and click Paste. And that is pretty much all you need to do. You want to go back into Shadow. And then, uh, and then, yeah, click pack file. Make sure you have a pack file manager enabled in the settings app. And you want to go to downloads and then select the pack file and click select. And I already have it select, so I'm not going to do it again. And yeah, so once you have all this done and you've pretty much done your hard work and you've enabled everything done to everything I've told you. You want to go back to settings um, and then go back and then go to tour settings and then enable it. That is pretty much all you need to do. Go back to SV settings or winterboard, I mean, um, whatever app you can use to respring your phone. Uh, select the theme, unselect it, go back and then click respring. I'm going to cancel that. And then, yeah, you respring your phone. And yeah, you open your favorite web browser. So I can use Google Chrome to prove this to you again. Uh, let me go ahead and go check torproject.org. Let's go ahead and check that. And it says, Congratulations, this web browser is configured to use to a Tor. Now, Tor is safe, and pretty much you can bank 100% on. Well, there's nothing you can really bank 100% on, but like, it's going to keep you pretty much anonymous, but here's the catch. Don't do anything stupid on it because at the end of the day, you don't want to take any chances. You don't want the uh, uh, CSIS or FBI knocking on your door and sending you to jail for just browsing uh, unsafe things and pretty much buying drugs and shit online using Silk Road and stuff. But hey, if you want to go ahead and do that and get your ass arrested, go ahead and do that. But pretty much just use this to pretty much hide your identity on the web and yeah it's it's pretty much safe this is pretty much the best virtual private network ever uh, even though it's not a virtual private network it is a socks network um this is pretty much the best you can find and it secures your entire iphone um sometimes when you reboot your phone you're gonna have to go ahead and respring it so that the uh, the uh tour does kick in or else you won't be able to uh, use it and before you visit any onion sites Make sure you have you go to check dot are you using Tor? Go, go check that and if it says congratulations, then you are using Tor. If it doesn't say that and it says uh, disconnected or whatever, then you're not using Tor. So 
that's my two cents. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if it helped you. Be, be safe and don't do anything stupid. And yeah, you won't get in trouble. So yeah, that, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, this app that I use right here called Bad Protect, I'll make a video on that and how you use it to protect your increase the security on your phone even more. But yeah, Tor. Tor app, pretty much the coolest thing ever. I have it on my desktop, and I just, I, I knew about this app from a long time ago, but uh, I just figured out how to use it and figured out how important it is, especially after the Snowden case and the CSIS, uh, uh, what do you call it, N N NSA, and all that shit. This Tor thing is pretty much the way to go, especially if you're going to be doing legal shit, which I don't recommend doing, but hey, whatever. Um, yeah, tour. That is pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching this video, and be sure to give a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe for more. Peace.